Estelle and Benny Abraham's biography, age, husband, children, contacts, wedding and political career. Estelle and Benny Abraham's appointed communications minister. President Cyril Ramaphosa reshuffled his cabinet on Thursday, merging two departments and shifting three ministers and deputy ministers. Postal Services Minister C. U. Bongakwell has been shifted to Home Affairs, and Communication Minister Nom Filamokanian has been shifted to Environmental Affairs, a demotion for the former ally of former President Jacob Zuma. Mokanian's deputy, Stellan Tabeni Abrahams, will now take up the post of Communications Minister, a promotion for the deputy minister, who is seen as a rising star in ANC politics. The erstwhile telecommunications ministry and the communications ministry will be combined and led by Benny Abrahams, but the two departments will remain separate until after the 2019 election. Ramaphosa also announced the resignation of the deputy energy minister Thambi Majola, who stepped down to attend to family commitments. He steps down from January 1. Better alignment and coordination. This will ensure we have better alignment and coordination of matters that are critical to the future of our economy, particularly in the context for the fourth industrial revolution, Ramaphosa said. The president said the move is line with announcements he made in that State of the Nation address to realign government. In anticipation of the sixth democratic administration, we will have completed this work. When we have completed it, we will have a much more comprehensive announcement on how we will have realigned government. Dot describing the reintegration of the two departments as the first wave of a restructuring plan, Ramaphosa hinted that further announcements will be forthcoming with respect to economic management. Stellan Benny Abraham's biography. Stellan Benny Abraham's is a South African politician and the deputy minister of telecommunications and postal services. She is a former Deputy Minister of Communications. She was born in Sakala village in Thatfa, Eastern Cape, South Africa. She grew up in Kunu, in the Eastern Cape, and is the firstborn of six children in her family. She attended several schools in and around Mthatfa, but could not proceed with her studies after matric because her family could not afford to send her to university. She had to get a job, to contribute to her family income, and to get her to study further. Stella and Benny Age. Her date of birth will be updated. Stella and Benny Abraham's husband. She is the wife to Theto Abraham's. Stella and Benny children. She is a mother of three children. Stella and Benny Abraham's wedding. Information about her wedding will be updated soon. Stella and Benny Abraham's contact details. Tell. 0 1 2 427 81 24 fax 0 1 2 239 76 79 Stella and Benny Abraham's education background she has an advanced certificate in project management from Rhodes University she has a Commonwealth telecommunications organization diploma in telecommunications and management systems she has a certificate in telecommunications Policy and Regulation Management, Wits University. She has a Project Management Diploma from Crane Fields College. She is pursuing a Master's in Business Management Administration at Regent Business School. Stella and Benny Abraham's Political Career and Benny Abraham's family was strictly religious and never political, but her political interest was highly influenced by learning that the first black president of South Africa, Nelson Mandela, was born and bred in Kunu. She served the ANC Youth League in a region in Thatha. This was followed by a position on the Provincial Executive Committee until she was elected to the national leadership team in 2008. During a cabinet reshuffle in 2011, President Zuma appointed Benny Abrahams as Deputy Minister for the then Department of Communications. In this position, her passion for education saw her aggressively implementing the school's connectivity program which culminated in 1650 rural schools nationwide being connected. She further committed telecoms licensees to implement their universal service obligations in connecting rural schools. Since 2009 she has been an African National Congress ANC Member of Parliament.
she was appointed as the Deputy Minister of Communications, and later the Deputy Minister of Telecommunications and Postal Services, a position that she held until she became the Communications Minister on November 22, 2018. Stella and Benny Abraham's membership. Member of African National Congress Youth League, Executive Committee, 2009-2011. Member and Committee Whip of African National Congress Women's League, Portfolio Committee on Defense, 2008-2010. Member of African National Congress, Northwest Committee. Member of African National Congress, Youth League National Executive Committee. Member of African National Congress, Joint Parliamentary Committee on Defense and Intelligence. Member of African National Congress, Parliamentary Caucus Subcommittee on Political Education. 2009-2011. Portfolio and Committee with African National Congress Women's League, Committee on Defense. Member and Committee with African National Congress, Portfolio Committee on Communications. And Benny Abrahams gives back to the community through her own organization slash foundation. Her projects include helping Eastern Cape children to get back to school and donating school uniforms to the needy. Stella and Benny Abrahams News. Glamorous evening of awards at Midrans Gallagher Convention Center. It was a night of glitz and glamour when the who's who of the printing industry descended on Midrans Gallagher Convention Center on 12 September for the Printing SA Awards Gala Dinner. Dean Jawa, the acting president of the Printing SA Board opened the night with a small speech highlighting that the printing industry contributes about 3% to the country's GDP, with Printing SA contributing about our 60 billion in sales which also has an effect on the economy. Whoever said printing was dead was talking rubbish, quote said Jalbert. Printing SA plays a vital role in training young people for the various roles and the printing industry in partnership with the University of the Witwatersrand Wits to try and meet the demand of the ever-changing business, quote he added. He was followed by Ferling Yend, the CEO of the Fiverr Processing and Manufacturing Sector Education and Training Authority, who rose up to formally introduce the keynote speaker for the night, the Deputy Minister for Telecommunications and Postal Services, Stella and Benny Abrahams. Abrahams recalled the role she played in 2011 in moving education towards a paperless classroom, which was thoroughly implemented in Gorting by the Gorting Mech for Education. Panyaza Lisuvi. I thought a paperless classroom would benefit the children, but during evaluations, I realized that the children were getting robbed of their tablets, and when they get to class, they are left in isolation because there are no books, no chalkboard, and therefore the learner cannot participate. There should be a gradual change where technology and print work hand in hand for the benefit of the country, because both these industries are needed, quote revealed Abrahams. 